Hi, namaste. My name is Henry Jolicoeur. I'm a French Canadian psychotherapist, hypnotherapist, and my special field of interest and study is brainwashing and mind control by cults. Today I continue my review of the book Killing for Krishna by Henry Daktovsky. Although this book is centered around the killing of Sulo Chan, Stephen Bryan, by a member of the New Vrindavan community, Thomas Dretcher. There is many side stories within the book that are also very interesting and very revealing and can be of interest to expose some of the character that are still roaming in the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Henry described that Sulochan was a very good massage therapist and he loved to give a massage to his god brother as a form of devotional service. And one day he gave a massage to Bhavananda, Charles Basies in Los Angeles. And Charles Basies convinced Sulo Chan, who was a neophyte devotee, to give him a blowjob, telling him that this would be a great spiritual service. And Sulo Chan did give fellatio to Bhavananda. Sulochan was not a homosexual. He was heterosexual, but apparently on that particular day, he was convinced, mesmerized by Bhavananda that this would be a good spiritual service. I think it's the first time that it is written in a book that Bhavananda received a sexual favor from a devotee. We all know that Bhavananda is a lifelong homosexual. He is rumored to be a pedophile who has abused many children in the Gurukulas of India and he was so convincing that he even became one of the 11 gurus in 1977. I really despise this guy and Iskan doesn't seem to want to do anything to send this guy away from their organization. Here we see Bhavananda Charles Basies giving a lecture in one of the holiest place of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness in Mayapur, India in 2016 and everybody seemed to think that it's a-okay to have His Grace Bhavananda Charles Basies giving a lecture to the devotees. I hope that the authorities of Krishna consciousness will take a very good look at what Henry Doktovsky has written and ask him question about where he got that information. For myself, I trust Henry's research 100%. And if this information happened to be truth, 
I hope that some action will be taken to kick Bhavananda once and for all out of every center of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness.